Jordan Capialis for Daily Iowa TV, standing next to Greg Miraz of Northwestern News Network, Iowa, getting set to take on the Northwestern Wildcats at historic Kinnick Stadium. Kickoff set for just after 11 a.m. Central Time. Iowa coming off two straight Big Ten losses to Michigan State and Ohio State. Northwestern, three straight Big Ten losses of their own. How important is this game for Northwestern? Well, simple as this, Jordan. Northwestern stands in at 4-3 and three right now, and frankly, based on their schedule the rest of the way, they're at Nebraska next week, then a bye, then home games against Michigan and Michigan State. If they don't win this game, there's no guarantees that they go to a bowl game. And frankly, the run defense has been horrid all conference play long. And with a guy like Mark Weissman, who's been very effective coming off of injury, that's going to be the key for Northwestern today. If they stop Weissman, they have a chance to win. Benrick Mark is out for Northwestern, a man who has consistently carved up the Iowa defense. Kane Coulter will start, however, is banged up, so it's unknown whether or not he's 100%. Iowa, big game for them, both teams four and three, two wins away from bowl eligibility. If Iowa can get back on the, win on the winning track, they will welcome in Wisconsin next week. Big game for Iowa, they run the ball traditionally, but Greg mentioned Mark Weissman, always a big threat. They've had trouble running the ball the last two weeks against top 10 run defenses, but Northwestern 69th in the nation in stopping the run. It should be a good one at Kinnick Stadium this afternoon. And you know what, Jordan? The thing is, it's all about defensive line play with Northwestern. If the front seven is able to be effective, if they're able to bring up guys like Damian Proby and Chichi Araguzo into the box, they're going to have a chance to stop Weissman. But if they can't do that, look for Iowa to run the ball and then open it up deep because Northwestern, Coming into last week's game, 107th in the nation in passing yards allowed. So this secondary is banged up. They're already into their two deeps. Daniel Jones, their two-corner opposite Nick Van Hoos, out for the season after the first game against Cal. So Northwestern's defense just suspect all over Jordan. And frankly, if Iowa can open up the passing game, it's going to be a long day for the Wildcats. Devontae Martin Manley, Jake Rudock's go-to receiver, but they've started to <coughs> incorporate the tight ends in the last few weeks, bringing in three tight end sets that have been especially effective on third down. Iowa extremely effective last week on third down against Ohio State. We'll see what Iowa can do against a banged up secondary. Iowa secondary also no stranger to giving up the deep pass plays, although Col Coulter more of a running quarterback. On the injury front for Iowa, Dominic Alvis is out on the defensive line, so we'll see how that affects their ability to get to the quarterback. For Northwestern, like you said, it is Venrick Mark, but it comes with the offensive line play if Northwestern's going to run the ball effectively. Trayvon Green and Mike Trumpy are your two main guys up front. They're going to try and run the ball north to south. If you're going to go east to west, it's going to be number eight, Stephen Buckley. He was the only guy that's been able to be an effective runner the last two weeks. So Northwestern, they like to run the ball a lot on first down, one of the more heavy run down first down teams in the Big Ten. So expect a lot of run on first down. And when they go deep, it's going to be with Trevor Simeon. Don't expect King Colts to throw the ball deep that much. See, seemingly some bad blood between these two teams the last few times they've played each other. Northwestern has won four of the last five games. Should be a good one this, a this afternoon in Connick Stadium. For, for Greg, Gregory Morris of, of Northwestern News Network, I'm Jordan Cabiellas for Daily Iowa TV.